What's going on my fly guys, welcome as we turn back to another video and today, yes, you're reading the title right, we are having a road to top 10 in the RU tier of course because that's the only tier I could do it in. Right now Gator Boy, that all is number 12 on the ladder, so fell off a little bit but oh well. But anyway, so uh, there's going to be a, uh, something special about this uh, road to top 10. We're going to have checkpoints and every time we pass a checkpoint, we're using a new team. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six checkpoints I made, and we're going to go on the ladder to check them out. So we're going to go to RU. Of course, you see Cater Boy number 12. Awesome. Uh, so we're going to go all the way down. And the first checkpoint is number 500 on the ladder. Once we get there, we're going to change teams. And uh, that is 1333. The next checkpoint is number 300. So we're going up from 500 to 300. And number 300 is... I passed it. No, I didn't. 1369. Yep, number 200 should be 1398. Last time I checked. 1398, correct. Then number 100 is 1444. Uh, and 1444, yep. And number 50 is the next checkpoint at 1490. I passed number 50. Yep, 1490 in the last checkpoint before going to the king of all teams, the Vale team, is number 20 at 1504. Yep, so those are the checkpoints we have, and of course the they might change slightly, but I don't expect it to too much. So we're going to start off with this team, and it is Spec Zorark with Memento for Linoon. Which, let me actually change to Are You King, and uh, let's go over the team. So we have Spec Zorark, Dark Pulse. U-turn, flamethrower, memento. This could also disguise very well as Salazzle, but I took off Sludge Bomb for memento for Linoon. Then we got uh, Life Orb or Roserade with spikes, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, and HP Fire. Then uh, Z move, Salazzle. Of course, we have 248 to maximize our special attack, but we took one out so we could have 8 HP, which avoids the 38 KO from Umbreon. It's foul play. Then I have an interesting Registeel. Not really. It's just. Um, pretty much spidef, but I gave it impish nature and four speed to outspeed other Registeels to win speed ties, basically. Then we got Scarf Lee as our offensive spinner, and of course we got the Ryu King himself, Linoon. And of course you can see the name, it's a new alt, it's King Linoon. I gotta actually, uh, register this. But anyway, yeah, so I'll pause it until we get into a battle. And we are back, we found a battle. And usually I would be afraid of this because it's weather. But it's also low ladder, too, so... Uh, he does not have a Dark Pulse switch in, so I'm going to lead with that. And disguise it as Salazzle, because Salazzle deals with it really well, and we could just dis disguise it really well. So, he, of course, he does lead Frostlast, which is another reason why. And uh, I'm just going to throw off a Dark Pulse here. And he's not even Sash. What? Alrighty, so he should know by now. But he goes straight in the cloister. And I'm going to throw off a Dark Pulse. Not not Sash either. I don't know what this man is doing. Alright. Uh, he has Dazzle and Gleam. No, he thought I was the Salazzle. And that dies in one shot too. Oh boy. Gigalith finally comes out. It's not Sandstream. You know what? I'm just going to throw off a Dark Pulse. It should do a big chunk. <laughs> we, got, we got the flinch. Oh my god. This is the last one, I'm telling you. He's probably not even drought. And he just forfeits. Oh man. So we got King Linoon right here. Climbing the ladder. I, I have no words for that. Yeah, this is a team by uh, Mordekul that I built with him. Does not have an Earthquake switch in. That was, uh, Registeel was originally a Rhyperior, but we lost a Shark. And so that's why it's Impish Registeel as well. So yeah, uh, our Earthquake switch in is uh, Roserade. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. I guess a Linoon could work, but we're saving Linoon in the back, so yeah. So 
So yeah, uh, I tried recording this before with the Obro tag, but my mic was off for half the episode. So that was a hella awkward. Oh, we see the Are You God that actually beats the Are You King. Again, no dark pulse switching, so I'm just gonna straight up lead with it. And, and again, Salazzle is a decent bluff. He leads Swellow, so uh, we're gonna go straight into Reggie Seal. If he if he's guts out, that'll be cool. Ooh, hard red. That is a Zorark, so I'm gonna get up the rocks. Flamethrower should not do that much. Again, I do want to keep this healthy, so I'm gonna protect here. Oh, he read that. That was a well, well, good play, good play. I'm gonna go into Salazzle on the flamethrower. That does so much. And I'm just gonna throw off Sludge Wave. So, uh, Zoroark is dealt with. Gotta remember that Swellow is indeed alive. Can't forget. So, yeah, now he goes into Swellow. Now this is Swellow, so I'm gonna go Ready Seal. It is Gut Swallow, I thought so, that's cool. Gonna protect on the facade. I'm gonna throw off, we should eat that, yeah, cause we're impish. We're gonna throw that thing down, we're gonna throw off a protect, just to maximize the amount of leftovers we have afterwards. And, uh, I mean, yeah, let's just go throw off another seismic toss to kill off the Swallow. So now Swallow is dead, guys, we, we can remember that. And he has two swells here, so who is here? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, in case this has sleep powder, I'm just the, the best switch in is always Roserade. As he quiver dances up. And we one-shot it because we're Roserade and I guess he was modest. I mean Blossom is naturally slow. Ambipom, that's what who is in that slot. Of course, the are you god. How could I forget? I'm gonna go into Registeel on the fake out. He's a normal gem. Okay, if he has Thief, though, he has Knock, so and it doesn't really matter if he knocks off. I'm just going to throw up a Seismic Toss. Shows me that he probably does not have Low Kick, and I'm going to Protect, just, uh, whatever. I'm going to just throw off another Seismic Toss. I don't really need this thing anymore. As it goes Arachnid, interesting, interestingly enough. And I'm gonna just keep throwing off these seismic tosses. It's doing decent damage. Liquidation should knock us out as it does. And right now I'm just gonna go into Zorark and throw off a Dark Pulse because there's literally no reason not to. Ambipom's gonna come out. I'm gonna sack it to the fake out. Oh, he has a Diancie. I forgot about that. Dude, the Zorar glitch is throwing me off my game. Right, I'm gonna sack Salazzle here. And, uh. I go, go, go. I'll go into Roserade and throw off Giga Drain. It probably will live, so I'm. Just to maximize the amount of recovery I'm getting, I'm gonna throw off a Sludge Bomb. Into Giga Drain. There we go. I mean, it doesn't really matter because Ambipom's there and knocks us out with Fake Out. But I could go into him on Lee and just throw off a CC because we're Scarf. And that is good game. I like how the green is it's like Gator Boy, but a little more green. We're getting there, we're getting there. Cool. And let's find another battle. I'm really liking this team, though. I really like the feel of it. Oh, man. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Gonna lead Zoro and of course disguise as Salazzle. I think that's just the best disguise as. He does not have a dark pull switch in besides Comfe. Watch me, Lele. So uh, he's gonna be, of course, afraid of this thing, so he's probably gonna go switch the Shuckle, so I'll just U turn out. As he goes, oh, what if I threw that off? And I'm gonna go into him on Lee since we're Scarf, and uh, we see he's left over, so he might think he's faster, but of course, it's obvious that we're Scarf, so I really do wanna knock off that Shuckles, like, uh, no, 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 I wanna knock off the Watch Me Lele's leftovers. 
Yeah, but knock off just the best play here. Yep. Cool. Knock off the lefties. And I think it's time we could set up with uh, Salazzle. Just set up a nasty plot and pick up a kill with Sludge Wave. That does zero, of course. So we're going to nasty plot up here. He should switch out when we see that he is... We are indeed faster than his whole team unboosted. And in case that is Scarf, I'm going to go into Registeel. I could have killed that thing. Unfort, unfort. I'm just going to throw off a Toxic. I don't care if he has an Earthquake. We hit good. Now, I'm not even going to bother protecting because I need him on lead to just come in and throw off. I'm going to throw off a high jump kick here. CC is the better play in case we miss because we need this connect to connect or else we're in trouble. And that's why I like having CC over like Stone Edge or something. Like sure, like CC would have knocked that out. I, I mean, High Jump Kick would have, but you saw it. it's still him on Lee, so you saw it still knocked it out regardless. So, Berserker, um, if you're Sash, well played, but oh, come on. He lived on 1%. Um, I'm going to sack Roserade here. Does the least amount for the team. And go into Are You King. And just throw off in extreme speed. And knock out the Berserker. So what I'm looking to do... Can't set up because of the list pod. So again, I'm just going to go into Salazzle here. He doubles into that thing. I'm just going to throw off an Acid Downpour. That should put it in Emergency Exit as we get a crit. Awesome. Wish Rocks were up so I wouldn't have to worry about it. But he goes into T-Trum. And uh, I mean, I'm just going to throw off. I'm gonna go in the Zoroark because I need, like, I, I know he was gonna do that anyway, so. This is the mon I need the least. Dragon Claw knocks us out. Going to Hitmon Lee. And this is where I could throw off a high jump kick without fear. Because even if I missed, I still had Linoon to knock it out afterwards. I think we're in a pretty good situation right here. I just knock you out. First impression should not do too, too much since we're him on Lee. We resist it. There we go. Watch me Lele. I mean, I really don't need it. This thing, and I could set up a line noon over this thing as long as, like, uh, of course. Okay. Slazzle is necessity right here. So I'm just going to nasty plot up. Perfect. Yeah, Slazzle is putting the finest to work right now. And we knock that thing out, and don't fuckle with the shuckle, of course. We do 63% shell smash. It's the contrary set, and he lives. All right, we're just gonna nasty plot up again, and we're just gonna throw a fire blast here because we don't fuckle with the shuckle. And that is, of course, a, a GG. So that was another decent one. I really like this team a lot. So we're going to go look for another one. Ah, that, that was a good win. Zorark plus Salazzle form a great core. We have not seen Linoon sweep yet, which is surprising. Alright, so he is. this is a Sun team. Linoon will put in a lot of work. Mega Net is not down here yet. So I'm going to lead Zorark disguised as Salazzle once again because that just scares out Frostless. But I'm still going to throw off Dark Pulses because he still does not have a resist to them. Resist is Snorlax. Either that. And even that, it's... So he sets up the sun, but of course it turns out I am not a Salazzle, I am a Zorark. And we knock out his Sunsetter, so his Sun Turns are limited now. 
He should know that I'm a Zorark. Yeah, he goes in a lax. But even that, I'm gonna go in the Lee. Stockpile. Yeah. I'm gonna CC because it's still gonna do decent damage. He's he has the papa. I didn't want to hide jump kick because he has two ghosts. Alright. He probably has rest, but that's like the max he could be stockpiled up to. He recycled the papa. He has crunch. So we have him on the timer. I wouldn't be surprised if he does not have rest since he's stockpile. He's belly drum. Oh no. What is you doing? What is this Snorlax set? Recycled the papa. No. I could have killed him right there. I don't. I. Ah. He recycled the papa again. Crunch. And he's probably going to go for a recycle right here. So, I mean, he's toxic. So, it's whatever. Toxic will get to him. He recycled. Man, he's winning all these mind games, which he's just recycling when it's below 50% after he ate it. So, I, I get it, but still. He recycled. He's not going to win this battle. I'm going to protect here because like, he should throw off a crunch here. He, he doesn't. Just going to seismic toss. Finally goes for the crunch and it doesn't even do half. <laughs> man, oh man. I'm actually going to go into Salazzle right now. Throw off a sludge with um I'm gonna throw off an HP grass. Cause I still like if that gets disabled, I have no care in the world if that gets disabled. I just need to break his sash. And unfortunately he misses Icy Wind. Which that does suck, but we connect the fire blast, knock out the frost lass, and that did not get disabled. Gardevoir comes in, if that scarf, I mean I'm still just gonna go into Reggie Steel. If he tricks, well played. If not, haha. -ha tricks well played so uh, my play here is set the rocks throw off a toxic yeah that's what I thought so I'm gonna go into Zoro right here because I don't care if he will-o-wisp I don't care if he shadow claws I don't care if he shadow balls like it's not making that he will-o-wisps so I just throw off a dark pulse he does not have a switch in. He is no longer Scarf Gardevoir. Which is another reason why I didn't care. He was Specs Gardevoir. Interesting. I really do not care if Zora goes down. He goes Gardevoir. I'm just going to go back in the Registeel and throw off Seismic Tosses. I'm gonna win this with Linoon. I made up my mind. It's no longer Specs Gardevoir, so we should be able to live. If not, who cares? Linoon is not a necessity to win, but you know, it's the RU King or King Linoon on this alt, so. Yeah, we easily eat that up, and that is a GG. King Linoon, the RU King, of course. Bam. Best late game sweeper there is. You know, I got warned on Showdown the UU room because I kept talking about Linoon, even though I did not talk about it all day. But Linoon should be in the VR. That's all I'm saying. Like, they sleep on Linoon. I made a post about it. That got, like, 11 likes on it. So people know not to sleep on Linoon. And I'm actually kind of famous in the UU room because of Linoon. So come at me, bro. 
like Linewin is heavily slept on. It sweeps through unprepared teams and paired up with Veil. Sets up even easier with Magneton to take out Scizor, Kob Weekend Koba. Like, it's it's amazing how good Linewin is and people don't know it. So, good thing we have the one expiled counter there is. Uh, what time are we at? Alright, we have time for maybe two more. He does have Dark Pulse switch ins, which kind of suck, but uh, one, Linewin just sweeps. Two, Salazzle sweeps. So, uh, I'm going to lead this, disguise it as Salazzle again. He's not going to want to stay in. He shouldn't regardless. So, his switch into Salazzle would be... Como, -oh, so I'm just going to U-turn out. If he stays in, I'm going Reggie. I don't know. Dark Pulsing is just a better play, I think. I feel because there's no way he's going to come face so if anything he would go como so yeah I'm actually in a good position here I could u-turn to gain momentum but I think dark pulsing just weakening his team is the better play yeah and of course if he did stay in he lost his Delmize now so he goes mantine which I could just continuously dark pulse Alright, that looks to be Specs. I mean, uh, Spadef Mantine. That did so little. I'm gonna put Mantine on the timer. He does not have a Toxic switch in that appreciates. Like, he, he, like everybody on his team is hurt by Toxic really badly with Reggie Steel here. Reggie just deals with his team so well. So yeah, there's like no reason not to throw off a Toxic because of its sub Belly Drum, which that's not a thing, and he just lets me Toxic it. Perfect. Now, I'm going to set up my rocks here knowing that he's going to defog. So, he keeps throwing off Scald. I'm just going to apply the pressure and make him keep in Mantine. I'm going to spike up. I'm just going to spike stack right now. As he goes Comfe on, on a Roserade, so I'm just going to Sludge Bomb that. He can't call mine stall me. Like... What is you doing? You're U-turning. Okay. I don't... What? I don't even know what to say about that play. We are still on the lower ladder. I gotta remember that. But who do you bring in? Like, everybody gets heavily damaged, and if you go x out, I have Reggie's deal. So... Yeah. <laughs> you really do not have a play here, buddy. What is you doing? He's thinking about his play. I mean, if he is bulletproof Como, -o, that's his play. But he's probably soundproof as he, like, his only way of dealing with Swellow would be Mantine. Yeah, he really does not have a play right now. So I'm thinking he's soundproof Como if he's not going straight into it. <laughs> what is you doing? Still has yet to make a move. Oh man, oh man. That, that come phase, like, I, I, I don't know what to do, cuz. <laughs> 30 seconds left. I think he's gonna time out. So I'm just gonna hop into another battle. Like, he has 20 seconds left, so we got one right away. Cool. I like his team. Not uh, he's Salazzle. I mean, he is Salazzle weak. So this man has like three seconds to make a move. Yep, he lost. So this is gonna be the last battle. 
Yeah. He Volt Switch, so he Scarf Rotom. Oh man. I hit the wrong button. Now it's supposed to be a screenshot. I full screen by accident. Because I need to get a picture of Zoroark. Alright, so he's going to be Taunt Roost probably. I'm still going for rocks regardless. He goes into Beware, the big Beware. I'm just going to Scout. Oh, he's sub. Oh, I knew he was going to be sub. I had a feeling in the back of my neck that he was going to be sub. Not the back of my throat, the back of my neck. Because Beware just breathes down and hugs people. Uh, do I want to keep this healthy? If he SDs. Uh, Roserade does the least amount of work in this battle. So yeah, I'm just going to throw off entry fire flamethrowers through this fluffy beware should go for frustration yes and now going into salazzle and i'm gonna throw off a fire blast he does not have a switch into this beast rotom is his switch of choice of course that does not appreciate it and going into registeel he's gonna volt out into beware again but hmm yeah, I'm just gonna seismic to oh whoa what's beware's HP stat 125 I forgot about that Alright, so I'm going to go Rourke here. And throw off a Flamethrower. Because he should sub here again, and then I can just go into Salazzle and throw off a Fire Blast. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think that's the play of choice. It's going to be a tougher battle. Yeah, alright. So, yeah, he kills us here. I'm going to go into Salazzle and throw off a Fire Blast. Salazzle sweeps through this guy's team, by the way. Just want to make that clear. He goes in the Gator. Now, he might throw off an Aqua Jet. How much does just like a Salazzle neutral do to a uh, for Alligator? 51 to 61. I'll take that roll. Yeah. Cool. So if he goes Noivern here, I'm just going to throw off a Sludge Wave. I cannot risk him U-turning into Beware again. In either way, we should be able to live a hit. Yeah, I guess that works too. He might be Z-Move. He might be Devastating Drake if he is. I'm going to go into Reggie here. He's Sky Strike. And I'm just going to throw off a Toxic. Okay, he goes into his own Reggie. I'm gonna hope he does not have T Wave. Sets up the rocks. I'm gonna nasty plot up here. I don't know if that's play because he has Scarf Tom and Noivern. I think I'm just gonna throw off a Fire Blast here. Because he has two things that outspeed me, which sucks, yeah. So I'm just going to throw off the Fire Blast here. Because if uh, Rotom wants to come in, it's going to come in at... It's going to die to Fire Blast, basically, when it switches in. 
Same with Noivern. They're both severely weakened and weak to rocks. So I don't want to try setting up. I guess I tried. I should have tried setting up there. Hopefully we get this roll. I'm gonna acid downpour on Beware because I can't miss uh, risk missing. Because Beware does decimate the team as we do not have a solid fighting resist. As our switch in is <laughs> um, Roserade. As he goes and sacks Rotom Heat, perfect. I'm fine with that. And yeah, he's gonna go Noivern and might be time. Sixty to seventy. I don't like that roll at all, dude. He should go for a Draco here, though, if anything. If he makes a double... I, I'm going to go Lee here. I can't risk him doubling. And yeah, we live that. And I'm just going to go for... I'm going to knock. Yeah, that was not the play I should have CC'd and let in Delmise because I don't care if Delmise comes in. So what I should do here is I can't go Reggie. Can't go Laszlo. I'm going to have to go Linoon. Belly drum so he'll have to... Uh, He's going to set up a bulk up. And I'll extreme speed break his sub. He's going to kill me, yes. But now... I can't... If he's... Okay. So I'm going to use my Z-move on this. Well played. Very well played. Okay, so basically what I have to do here is Nasty Plot on his Protect. Oh, for a Fire Blast. Yeah, you just saw me take the screenshot for the thumbnail. Need to hit this Fire Blast too. I need this. There we go. And beware should topple over to the sludge wave. You protected on my miss, bro. <laughs> so that was a very scary battle. I misplayed hard by uh, knocking off with um, by knocking off letting in beware. So yeah, Salazzle pulled through. This was this thumbnail was gonna go to uh, Zorark, but I think Salazzle deserves it after this battle because Salazzle got the got the compound eyes, you know, never missed. So yeah, I'm gonna end off here. Woo.
That, that, that was a good one. That, we got up to 1,200 in the first episode. So, my mic is on. That's a wrap, guys. So, if you enjoyed, uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more. If you have any RE teams you want me to use or fix up, leave them in the comment section below, and I might use them if I hit a checkpoint. And uh, we will be using this team next time until we get to the first checkpoint at uh, number 500 on the ladder. And then, um, yeah, so I really like this team. I'm happy we start off with it because it's a good, strong team, just weak to earthquakes and fighting moves, which we could play around it, as you saw we did. And uh, actually, yeah, before we end this off, we have to... Uh, I have to go and go on Amino and look for a stupid post. So yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Competitive. Um, is Lombre a sexy boy? Oh my lord. Uh, there is, you know what? I I guess I I'm I'm all right with Greenion, but he always does. Let's talk about it and tries to make a Pokemon viable. Uh, he did one on Palo Sand. Let me look for the stupid. Like there, there was something I did not like. Uh, all right, yeah, yeah. So here it is. So Palosand, unfortunately with a base 35 speed, your only option is to run it as a lead. It also does not have access to real hazard moves, so that's another issue we'll run into because we might need a wall. Uh, yeah, so that, that's not too bad, but he's saying that base 35 speed, it has to be at a lead. So I, I don't really agree with that. There's also some other stuff that. Alright, wait, wait. Here it is. So, again, yeah, I don't know if I did this in the last episode or not, but. Is Lombre a sexy boy? I know. Sorry about that. I was talking about Broski. Yeah, it's just. Uh, and then there's Groudon vs. Lightning McQueen, of course. Uh, and the last one for today. There wasn't any too too bad stuff because you know I already went over the bad ones right off the top of my list but battle of the moves here are the horns enjoy horn attack horn drill horn leech peck smart strike yeah uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that so yeah I'm just gonna end off here and of course you already saw my man circuit jerk pop up when we were talking about amino so uh, most importantly though be sure to most importantly Stay fly.